freedom lovers out there everywhere. Because I love my freedom, because I love this country, because I want freedom for my children, my grandchildren, and for you. I form glory, legislators against real ID echo every place. Last weekend was the 4th of July, Independence Day. In the small town where I live, the churches come together to have a joint celebration. We sang many patriotic songs. One of them was, My country, tis of thee, sweet land of liberty. At that point I stopped to think, do we still have all of that sweet liberty that we had when our forefathers founded this country or when that song was written? And the answer was no, of course. Our great country was founded upon personal freedoms and individual rights with little regard to the desires of its citizens and certainly to the 10th Amendment regarding states' rights issues. We When the people fear the government, you have tyranny. And when the government fears the people, you have liberty. And this voice will be heard. Repeal the Patriot Act, act the national animal ID, and restore the Constitution as the document we are governed by. We are the Constitution! Country? That's right. We have a foreign entity. That's our court area. The key to sovereignty is self-control by the states. For the states to stay independent, we must have leaders who will protect our sovereignty. Our country is being outsourced by our leaders who we have put in office to protect us just as our jobs are being outsourced. That both Democrats and Republicans voted to expand the FISA Act to allow even more tracking of Americans unbelievable. and to grant amnesty to the telecom companies. This is America, the land of the free, or is it? If we continue to allow this dismantling of our Constitution and our Bill of Rights, we lose what is America. We lose what our forefathers fought for. We lose what Americans on soil have fought for our freedom. You know, you'll hear many the saying many times this election season, are you better off today than you were four years ago? A better, a better question we should be asking, do you have more or less freedoms than you had four years ago? Sadly, we know the answer. We have less freedoms than we had. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What? Oh, libertarian. So? opportunist and self-serving. I mean, what do you expect? Yeah? Sneaking across the border, and at times, even when they tried to offer a phony ID, they would just rush on through. In 2006 and 2007, 31 million citizens of other countries came here on the visa waiver program. Didn't even need a visa. 31 million. The Department of Homeland Security can't tell you how many of them went home. That woke the sleeping giant up. We need to wake up the sleeping giant again. And we need to give him insomnia until he gets the job done. While patriotic Americans are here, there's a group out in California, the National Council of... Here. Whose name I won't mention. In reference to comprehensive immigration reform, said it will be, quote, my top priority yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Do not send another dime to any of either of these parties until they start putting candidates, the elites, in this country, do not care about the American people. We are we're not just sheeple. We are a resource to make them money. This is 
death. This situation is surely the antithesis of what the founders intended when they designed a constitution that there is no better definition of tyranny than one that finds an entire nation led into war by the negligence, personal beliefs, or even the whims of a single individual. Be he or she a king, a dictator, or a popularly elected president. Religious hatred for us and make our advocacy of freedom appear to be the cost of such support for Israel is being measured in the blood and lives of the children of American parents. The cost will quickly become obvious, abhorrent, and utterly acceptable to those parents as well, or they can snipe at and undermine the president if the war goes belly up. Our post-war national endowment for democracy and the American Israel Political Action Committee, they are all rank and reckless interventionists bent on involving America in other people's wars and content to see our republic destroyed by the... ...unwavering allegiance to the Founder's principles and most of all, his limitless moral courage. Dr. Paul's efforts have created a space in the public square for me and many others to stand and support him in favoring the best foreign policy for America, yeah. the foreign policy of non-intervention. Right. While there is much hard and lengthy work still to do, Dr. Paul has made a lasting start for all of us in the effort to reclaim our republic from the warmongering hands of the interventionist elite. Dr. Paul, as another patriotic insurgent named Thomas Paine once wrote, has found that tyranny, like hell, is hard to conquer. But Dr. Paul has proven again and again that he's neither a summer soldier nor a sunshine patriot, but rather a man who knows the harder the conflict, the more glorious the triumph, and who today, for his efforts against all odds, deserves the love and thanks of man and woman. That's right. Yeah. God always bless Dr. Paul. And may God also give us all the more give us all moral courage to carry on to success the campaign to destroy interventionism that he has so nobly begun. Let me close by expressing my deep appreciation for the chance to speak here today. And let me leave you with the words Thomas Paine used to describe what it makes what it takes to make a successful revolution. I call not upon a few, but all, Payne wrote in December 1776, not on this state or that state, but on every state. Up and help us. Lay your shoulders to the wheel. Better to have too much force than too little when so great an object is at stake. Let it be told to the future world that in the depth of winter, when nothing but hope and virtue could survive, the city and country, alarmed at one common danger, came forth to meet and repulse it. Payne closed his passage with words that could just as well have been spoken by Dr. Paul and which should be spoken by all of us. I thank God, Payne wrote, that I fear not. I see no real cause for fear. I know our situation well and can see the way out of it. Right.